Hey guys, it's Sean here with another 3D printing tips video. Today, I wanted to go over the quality options offered here at SD3D. When we say quality, we are referring to the tolerances involved. These tolerances are determined by two factors, the height of each layer and the diameter of the nozzle being used. The smaller the nozzle and the lower the layer heights, the higher the quality. Here at SD3D, we've standardized to four different quality options. Draft, Standard, Fine, and Ultra HD Resolution. Now these terms were arbitrarily made by our team, but they do refer to the layer heights and the nozzle diameters used on the print. As we went over in our Designing for 3D Printing video, we used three different nozzle diameters, 0.6 millimeter for draft resolution, 0.4 millimeter for standard and fine resolution, and 0.25 millimeter for Ultra HD resolution. Our draft resolution has layer heights of 0.4 millimeters. This means that the printer will not print any detail in the Z direction that is thinner than this. Standard has layer heights of 0.25 millimeters, fine 0.1 millimeter, and Ultra HD 0.09 millimeters or 90 microns. These quality options drastically change the amount of time required to print. An Ultra HD resolution print will literally take 10 to 15 times as long as the exact same print in draft. There are roughly four and a half times as many layers in Ultra HD and the nozzle is less than half the diameter. As you can see from the video, this is a split screen of an Einstein bus being printed in draft resolution on the right and Ultra HD resolution on the left, filmed at the exact same speed. This not only leads to a longer print, but one that has a higher probability of failing, which are both factors that lead to a more expensive print. A smaller nozzle causes more clogging, leading to more maintenance. Aside from tolerances, lettering and thin walls are affected by the quality. A printer will only print walls and lettering that is at least as thick as the nozzle. So, if you design a part that has walls that are 0.4 millimeters thick and you chose draft quality, those walls will not print. This allows for much finer detail as we move smaller in nozzle diameter. Finally, the clearances involved with printing will be determined based off of the quality options you choose. Since 3D printing is additive, it tends to err on the side of more material than less material. This means that if you design two parts that were meant to mate perfectly together, they will not. We describe this tolerance as one half the diameter of the nozzle. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for even more 3D printing tips and tutorials.